Now from January to June, new total deliveries were around 87,426 which was a 60% increase year over year, meaning that the kind of uh, deliveries that NEO sold last year from January to June compared to this year's January to June, and this year's figure are more than last year by over 60%, which is something that is pretty exciting. Now, you will know that NEO sells premium EV and its competitors is your Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and all the other luxury brands. Now, it appears that 87,426 that NEO has sold of pure EVs. When we compare the kind of sales that Audi, BMW, Mercedes and Porsche have sold of pure EVs in China, they still fall short uh, to the kind of deliveries or to the 87,426 deliveries which NEO has sold because their total combined deliveries of these four brands which I just told you is sitting at 81,331 which shows you the dominance that NEO has in the premium EV space. This shows you that these competitors or these car companies are the premium or luxury brands when it comes to pure EVs. NEO is dominating, it's leading which is why we see them having a market share of around 50%. Yes, Mercedes is also selling pure EVs, Audi, BMW, Porsche but their total sale combined year to date, they don't meet the total sales that NEO has generated also from January to June. This, when I read this report, it reminded me the good things that we are seeing coming from NEO. It reminded me that the deliveries which some of the people are still thinking they are bad, they are actually pretty good because when you talk of pure EVs, NEO is doing exceptionally well. I mean, there are some cities in China that even when you look into the gas cars of these premium EVs, I mean, premium brands like your Mercedes and BMW, NIO is selling even more than them, even when they are selling their gas cars, which shows you that NIO continues to grab or continues to win the market share, which is something that is absolutely great. We know of a story of a lady who was going for a Mercedes and because of that Mercedes dealership was next to a NIO, she ended up choosing a NEO over Mercedes, which shows you the kind of quality that NEO is making and producing. I mean, for a person to easily say that I'm not going to buy a Mercedes or choosing NEO over Mercedes, it shows you about the kind of a car NEO it's building. I'm happy and the future looks so bright for NEO. So uh, when I saw this report, I just thought I'd just come and give you and reminded you once again that Yes, when you look into the total sales that these uh, premium brands like your Mercedes, Audi, BMW and maybe Porsche are generating on a month to month, NIO might still be falling short on the, in terms of the total deliveries that they are getting. But when it comes to the EV cars that these cars are selling, NIO is dwarfing all of them or NIO dwarfs all four of them combined which shows you that the more we see this EV penetration, which shows you that the more we see the EV penetration is the more NEO is going to start stealing or taking away some of the customers that would usually go for your Mercedes uh, or your BMW. I mean, you will know that the president of NEO two days ago, he came out and said that based on the recent studies that was conducted in China, 30% out of the 100% that the studies was conducted on, they're thinking of buying an EV as their next car, which is something that shows you that companies like NIO are still going to flourish even more. Because which other brand would you go to if you are driving a Mercedes and you want to switch to EV? Chances are very high that you will go for NIO because NIO when it comes to pure electric, premium brand, high-end EV, they are in the top of the list. I mean, we talk of, about the technology that's in the car. We talk of the beauty of the cars themselves. I think you and me can definitely agree that this is a car or this is a company which is just set to do very well. So I'm happy. I'm excited. I mean, this 87,426 uh, that dwarfs the 81,000 or over 81,300 combined EV sales for the other premium brands, it shows you the kind of growth that we are seeing on Tunio. I mean, I will have to remind you again that 
this 87,426 for NEO or from NEO, which is total sales from January to June, it is a 60% increase year over year. And I have no doubt that we are going to continue seeing more increase or increase uh, coming from NEO, especially uh, with the subsidies that NEO is getting support from when it comes to the Chinese government, especially with the kind of discounts that NEO is offering. We are going to see this trend continues. Uh, Thursday, uh, July deliveries are coming and I expect to see a new monthly record which uh, once again those that are bearish uh, they will have to be proven wrong yet again by the kind of deliveries that new is going to report on Thursday so we look forward I look forward to more sales I look forward to more success stories coming from Neo there's so much that we've discussed about Neo in a way that people are starting to think that probably we only talk about the good stuff happening on NEO, which that's not the case. If there are bad stuff, we also talk about them, right? But obviously, uh, recently, I mean, we've been only receiving good news. I mean, yes, Q1, things were bad and all that, Q1 earnings, deliveries, but Q2, now in Q2, I think there's so much that happened, which is why we saw record-breaking quarterly deliveries of uh, 57,000 or over 57,300 which is something that is of course all that was so amazing to see you reporting those record-breaking quarterly deliveries so I look forward uh, to uh, what's coming on to New York and I think we should brace ourselves because blue sky is coming so I just thought I'd just give you this quick update tell me what you think about this um, but me I think this is positive these are good news and it's important for us to know because regardless of NEO selling record-breaking deliveries, there are, there are still those that are, that think that NEO should be doing more, which I guess it's fine, we understand, and I guess we'll see them doing more. But I think they are also doing absolutely well, looking at the kind of a segment they are in. They don't sell, NEO don't, don't sell cheap EVs. Their EVs are quite expensive, which is why... Uh, yeah, even when you look at their price range and you look at the kind of a car they are selling, uh, you cannot compare them with your mass market X Peng BYD. You can't do that. You need to compare them against their peers. And that is your Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Lexus, your Porsche. Those are the cars in Neo segment, which show seeing the, which seeing them doing this well. I think they deserve uh, a round of applause. Otherwise. That's all from me. Do your own DD before you buy new for the very first time because this stock can be quite volatile and therefore it requires you to do some due diligence before you panic sell. Otherwise, that's all from me. I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And God bless you all.